know y'all hear that snap crackle pop, baby, but this ain't Rice Krispies. This is bacon, bruh. I know a lot of y'all was in my last video telling me to cut bacon out of my diet because it's not good for me, but listen, bacon be tasting too good, bro. We in the kitchen cooking, baby. What's good, Soda Pop Gang? It's your boy, Keiko, and I'm back with another video, back with another banger, man. Welcome back to More Than Football, and welcome to a day in the life of a Juco football player, bro. Shout out to y'all, man, for showing so much love to me, man. I appreciate every single one of y'all that show love to me, bro, and I'm ready for this journey, man. It's gonna be a hard journey. You gotta put in that work, and that's one thing I want you guys to learn. Like, I was excited to announce it to y'all, yeah, but it don't matter if I announce it to y'all and then never play it down, man. I wanna put in that work and get on the field, bro. And don't let this social media shit fool you at all, bro. Like, everybody wants to announce where they going. They wanna show their offers and all of that, but then some of them don't even play, bro. So you can take your congrats and everything like that, but after that, it's time to work, bro. We already passed that, dog. That being said, we got a lot of stuff to do today, man. Your boy looking scruffy. I need a haircut. I need a retwist on top, bro. I got a lot of stuff to do today, man. And with this Juco stuff, I want to give you guys the ins and outs of Juco or being a collegiate athlete. You feel me? Obviously, I can't show you guys everything. So if any of the coaches watching, listen, I'm not going to show them everything. not going to show them no plays, no trick plays, no none of that. But I want to show you guys the behind the scenes of being a collegiate athlete, man. Because I feel like a lot of other YouTubers that are collegiate athletes, they don't show you guys the behind the scenes. And what I mean by that is the schooling and different things that you gotta do. Obviously, they call us student athletes for a reason, man. So I really wanna show you guys the school part about being an athlete as well. So today, I'm gonna bring you guys throughout my day, man. We're gonna hit a workout and everything like that, but I'm trying to register for classes, bro. Basically, I know JUCO's a little bit different than D1s and D2s and everything like that. But as a JUCO football player, bro, you don't have to be a full-time student to the fall time when it's time for your season. Oh, that's some beautiful bacon right there, baby. Oh, yeah, talk to him then. Obviously, you guys, we're in the month of January, so as far as, like, schooling goes, JUCO-wise, the only thing that's going on is pretty much a uh, winter term. Your boy will be signing up for classes for the spring term that starts in February, and basically how JUCO treats it is they treat the football conditioning and all of that. They treat that, they treat that as a class, so it is a college credit, so I need to register for that class and I need to register for like a normal class, you feel me, to get my degree. I want my degree, so I gotta do it. I'm gonna show you guys the steps to go through all of that and everything like that, bro. I gotta actually call the school. So we just gonna bring y'all through it, man. Welcome to a day in the life of a Juco football player, man. Let's finish this breakfast and let's get straight to our day, man. Like down below, subscribe, turn for new, follow me on IG, and yes, sir. A lot of y'all had me dying the last time I cracked some eggs on the channel because I was like, oh, it's crazy. This was about to be a whole chicken and I'm just eating it. And y'all was like, well, no, actually, these eggs are the infertile ones, bro. Y'all smart as hell. Listen, bro, I don't know if Harvard's football team's any good, but a lot of y'all probably can go there because y'all smart as hell, bro. Ooh, look at the steam off that, John. You can't tell me. This breakfast don't look good, man. Got a little orange juice right here, man. Is it me? Or well, orange juice don't actually taste like oranges. I don't know, but I'm gonna eat breakfast, then we got some business to handle, bro. What's good? It's poppin' slime. Ooh, we done had a good breakfast set up our game, but now it's time to handle business, like I said, man. And hopefully, if you guys are watching, man, and you guys do get the opportunity to play college ball, you take your schooling as serious as you do football, you know what I'm saying? So, I have to get that squared away, man. A lot of you guys already know I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana, and I spent most of my life in everything in Indiana, right? So, I've been in Cali for three years now, but my new school, L.A. Harbor, they think I'm still an Indiana resident. So, basically, I have a hold on my account. And what a hold is, is basically something, like, something is wrong to the point where they can't let you register for classes. So they put a hold on your account and that could be for you owe money. It could be for, I don't know, poor grades. You gotta meet with the counselor. It's a lot of different holds you can have on your account. And my hold right now is that they think I'm out of state. So I have to call admissions and records and ask them like, hey bro, like what do I gotta send in so I can show you guys that I'm a resident of Cali and then they can take the hold off and then I can register for my football class and my other class, you feel me? So. That's what we about to do right now, bro. Like I said, man, take your schooling just as serious as you do football, man. So, about to call this little number, bro. Hopefully, they don't put me on hold or nothing like that. Thank you for calling Los Angeles Harbor College. Okay. For general assistance, press 1. For admissions and records, press 2. Let's go for 2. Please hold while we transfer your call. 
just kidding. Okay. That's how they gonna do me, bro. We just gotta keep calling certified game. Round two. I bet. Let's just let's press one this time. <clears throat> yes, sir. Hey, come on. Help your boy out. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Kevin Tribble, and uh, I'm a new student at Harbor. And uh, I have a hold on my account because they think I'm an out-of-state student. So I was wondering who I got to get in contact to so I could send my uh, send my proof of residency in California. Um, yeah, you need to talk to admissions. I'll give you their emails. Um, okay. You need at least three, uh, three documents. Do you have yeah, um, three things? Um, something like... Yeah, I got I got all three. Yeah, I got. Okay. Okay. Oh, was awkward as hell, boy. Like you know what I'm saying. But look, they gave me the emails of the admissions, but I'm not satisfied yet. I want to talk to somebody from admissions so they get it done quick. Like if I just send a little email, you know, that could take forever. They could wait days. So we 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 not done certified game. Listen, if you're not satisfied, keep on what. Listen here. Somebody better answer. Yep. For general assistance, press one. For admissions and records, press two. We going there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's get it. Please. Please. I know. Mother. Hi, my name is uh, Kevin Tribble. I'm a new student at uh, LA Harbor, and um. I am originally from Indiana, but I've been living in California for three years now. But you guys have a hold on my account that's not allowing me to register for classes because you guys think I'm out of state. So I have proof of residency um, and everything like that. And I was just wondering who I have to send that to uh, so I can get that hold off of my account. My phone number is 317. All right, y'all. So some minutes later, and obviously still nobody answering the phone. They busy, you feel me? There's probably a lot of people calling them. Because with Corona, you can't go see these people in person. So basically, what I have to do to get this hold off my account is send in documentation to show them that, hey, bro, I'm for sure in California, and I've been here for three years, you know what I'm saying? So I'm sending them, like, a picture of my ID and a couple bills and different things like that. Obviously, I can't show you guys that because that's confidential stuff. But we're handling our business, man. I, I want to get this done and over with, get this hold off my account so I can finally register for classes, you know what I'm saying? Even though it's still early, I still got time. Handle your business early, man. A lot of you guys, we just worried about the football part of things, and we not worried about, you know, your school. You not worried about the school part. You feel me? So, I'm about to get in here. I'm about to get in here, send off this email, and show these guys I'm here, man. All right, y'all. Sent that email off. Hopefully, I hear something soon so I can get into these classes. Like I said, I'm pretty early um, on the schedule and everything like that, bro. But I want it to be over with, you feel me? I get my stuff done, bro, especially when it's something that I want to do, bro. Just like the channel says, man, this is more than football, bro. This is just about your lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? You guys want to show up for practice, but then you don't want to show up for class, you feel me? You got to do both. Since we ain't got nothing to do, we might as well be productive and watch some of the drip, bro. Is it me or ever since Corona started, bro, like... I don't really care what I'm wearing anymore, bro. Like, I don't need me going outside looking drippy or nothing, but we might as well wash some of the drip for when Corona's over. Then we can get right. Oh, look what I found, bro. This is one of my shirts when I was on Indiana State's football team, man. One of our football shirts, it had sleeves, but I cut them off, you feel me? Sycamore's football, man. Yes, our mascot was a tree. Can't say Keiko don't be stepping, bro, with the off-field drip, man. Got some Gucci shoes right here. They kind of old. I wore them a lot. You feel me? But I'm telling y'all, bro, Corona that messed me up, bro. I used to be stepping out there. But sneaker collection video coming soon, man. Oh, yeah. We on the sticks with it, man. I've been on the Xbox Series X for the past couple months now. As you can see, my PS4 is over there, bro. 
I never was able to secure the PS5, but we on the Xbox Series X with it, bro. I'm probably going to get on Madden right now. Y'all can add me, bro. I don't know if you can see that in the corner. But that's my username right there. It's Keiko Baby right there, man. All you got to do is type that in and find me. But, uh, yeah, bro. I mean, I pretty much handled my business for the morning, bro. It's not time for me to work out or anything like that. So, we're going to kick back and relax for a little bit. Play a little bit of the game. Now, if y'all see right there, man, this is my wins and losses on online head-to-head. -head. 33 and 36, bro. We are trying to get to 500 today in this little session right here, bro. Like I said, bro, I'm not no duck and matter, bro. I used to be, but now I'm getting better. Back at it again, bro. Back at it again. Certified gang, today we have failed, you feel me? As you guys know, I was trying to register for classes this morning. They got this hold on my account, and I wasn't able to get a response back from none of my emails. I called a whole bunch of times. They was not answering, but it's understandable, you feel me? Los Angeles Harbor Emissions, I understand you probably got everybody and their mama calling just because of coronavirus and everything like that, so I understand. But your boy, when they get in class, I'm trying to get smart, you know what I'm talking about? But anyways, man. We're just going to have to keep on trying and keep on trying to get a response, man, get in contact with them just so I can get this hold off of my account, bro. If you're watching this right now, do not give up. You feel me? You may not hear a response the first day. It's just like emailing coaches. You may not hear a response the first day. You may not hear a response the second day. You just got to keep trying. But right now, we about to go work out, man, put some work in. You feel me? Every day is a day to get better. Ooh, that John look icy on camera. Okay then, man. As y'all know, man, I got this Riddell Speed Flex for $150. I'm gonna see if I can use it in Juco because this color right here is like the same color that the team uses. I may have to get another face mask or whatever, but that don't fire. Got our ladders ready to go. Today's cleat of the day is the Audi Zero 8.0, you feel me? These are kind of beater cleats right here. You feel me? Nothing too crazy. These are kind of the cleats I just put on when I do want to do a workout, like little practice cleats or whatever. You feel me? Especially on this grass. We don't find ourselves a nice little corner of this park. You feel me? They got a basketball gym over there, bro. Buddy over there, 99 overall, dog. A lot of you guys been asking me um, since I'm doing JUCO now, am I still gonna be like messing with the Semi Pro and everything like that? Yes, bro. Like the relationship I have with the Tigers and all of my friends over there. I'm gonna continue, like I said, doing workouts with them, doing little seven on sevens, everything like that, till it's time for me um, to buckle down and get ready with Harbor, you know what I'm saying? So that's not gonna stop. As far as me playing in their games, I don't know all of that, man. I don't wanna risk myself getting hurt in their game, you feel me? And then getting hurt for college, you know what I'm talking about? So I don't know about all that. Yes, yeah, sir, we got our ladder lined up. We got the Cleety D's on you, me. Okay, Adidas cleats with Nike socks. What is he doing? So you guys already know pretty much I work out with Cletus Gordon, bro. And um, he gets me right and everything like that. And his workouts are usually high intensity, very, very hard. So my goal is when I'm coming out here by myself is to work on some of the techniques that he teaches me and everything like that. And then, uh, but at a lighter pace, you feel me? Obviously you have your days where you work out harder and then you have your days that are light. You don't want to over push your body and then not get any production out of it. So I got this band right here, man. I'm gonna put this on my ankles and I'm gonna just kind of go through the ladder and do different things like that. I ain't got nobody to film for me. So I'm gonna try to set it up as best as I can. All right, y'all, as y'all can tell, it is darker, you feel me? It's not nighttime, but y'all know how the daylight savings go. It get dark quick. We finished our workout, man. Not everything got to be filmed, but I did footwork, some backpedaling stuff and everything like that. I'm trying to be in the best shape I can when it comes time to come to Harbor, you feel me? But I'm about to get on this house. About to get in this house. I think I'm about to knock out some bench press real quick 
And then we just about to keep the vlog going from there, you feel me? So I'll catch y'all in there. Certified gang, say what's good. Say what's happening, y'all, in the video. Y'all gonna be in the vlog tomorrow, bro. Ooh. Y'all gonna be in the vlog tomorrow, best believe that. You feel me? Say what's happening. Bitch. Corvette, Corvette. Hopping in jet lag. <laughs> that boy, Juju. Listen, man, hopefully Juju learned his lesson. But we about to get on this bench real quick. And, uh, you know, not do nothing too crazy, anything like that. About to knock out a couple sets. What'd you say to me, bro? What'd you say? <laughs> we back at it again. As you see, 35-35, I'm the Bears, man. Fourth quarter, 12 seconds left, man. This is where champions are made. Send them home. That's a W. W, yes sir, Nick Foles and the Bears go crazy. Hold on now, is it gonna show the score? Yes sir, 41-35, stop playing with him, bro. 20 minutes later. Certified King, don't tell coach, but we out on the night, you feel me? We done snuck out, y'all. Okay, being honest, obviously I didn't sneak out of no dorms or nothing like that. We snuck out of my house, certified game, but it is nighttime, you feel me? And you feel me? I'm going to show you a place that only Juco football players can go to, you feel me? We just got it like that. Yes, sir, that's right. Juco football players get all the girls, you feel me? Yes, sir. to the promised land y'all let's get it oh yeah night on the town now certified gang i know a lot of y'all gonna be like bro keiko to be a great athlete you gotta get your sleep it's 10 14 at night but you know it's off season you feel me cut me some slack bro yeah make sure you're turning signals on whoa <laughs> she doesn't know how to drive the wheels on the bus go round and round Round. Bro, come on now. Chill, bro. Come on now. We athletes. We got to be careful out here, dog. I probably can't even see me, but like I said, man, we athletes. We got to be safe, bro. If any of y'all is driving, drive safe, man. You know. I want all of you guys to be safe. In all seriousness, though, when the season is starting, even when it's training camp and summer training, all of that, obviously these late night adventures ain't going to be happening like that. Like I said, man, the goal was to register for classes today. We failed at that. But we're just going to try again tomorrow. We're going to try to get right. And, uh, you know, we're just going to continue working with it. Red light means stop. <laughs> this is a cool little Uber driver right here, man. Dang, you just see what she just did, bro? Do it again. Exactly, exactly. Bitch, don't disrespect do Don't disrespect the certified game like that. I'm don't disrespect the certified If you want to get these hands, what's up? Bro, we can play. All right, bro. Hey, certified game, pull up, bro, right now. 